have you ever experienced you have a lot of school assignment or the other things to accomplish, but instead of going straight to do it, immediately you decided to do something unrelated or unimportant instead. That is called procrastination. Everyone is procrastinator, including me at some time, eventually not just only us. The famous architect Frank Lloyd Wright designed a famous architecture falling water how in just two hours because of procrastination. In reality, he visited the site since 1934 and did not draw anything. Until 1935, owner Howe came and called him and cannot wait to see the design. So, Wright just started drawing the design in that morning in just two hours. So, he procrastinated a whole year. And in the other hand, Leonardo da Vinci took 16 years to accomplish the Mona Lisa. Today with all, we're going to talk about procrastination and what is procrastination and why we procrastinate. Talk about the negative impact of procrastination and we talking a little bit about how to overcome the procrastination. So what actually is the procrastination? Well, procrastination is the age of delaying or putting off tests until the last minute or past their deadline. Some researchers define that procrastination is a form of self-ritualization failure characterized by the original delays or tests despite potentially negative consequences. Or another definition, procrastination is the age of delaying or postponing something unsexually or voluntarily, although knowing that it would have a bad consequences. And moreover, why we procrastinate? Well, imagine you have a school assignment to complete in just one week to complete them. However, after spending so much time deciding whether or not to do it now or later. To immediately put the test aside and begin doing something unrelated instead, just like watching a movie or playing a video game. Changes are you will be led in submitting your assignment or will help miss the deadline. We often make a mistake of assuming that the test won't took as long to finish as they really will which can lead to false sense of security when we believe we still have a plenty of time to complete this test. The belief is that we must be inspired or motivated to work on a test at a specific time in one of the most scientific elements contributing to procrastination. The truth is that if you wait until you in the right frames of mind to do the certain test, the right time will almost certainly never come and the test will never be completed. According to the researcher, there are some major cognitive distortion that lead to procrastination. Overestimate how much time they have led to perform tests overestimate how motivation they will be in the future, underestimate how long activity will take to complete. And the last one is mistakenly assume that they need to be in the right frames of mind to work on a project. And most importantly, depression can also can lead to procrastination, hopelessness, helplessness, and a lack of Energy can make even the most basic tasks difficult to begin and finish. Self doubt can accompany depression when you don't know how to approach a project or uh, answer all your challenge. It's tempting to put it off and focus on the other thing. Eventually, procrastination is also pretty common in people with obsessive compulsive 
disorder. One explanation is that OCD is frequently associated with with molality and has a perfectionism which can lead to anxiety or making new mistakes, doubt about whether you are doing something correctly and worry over other expectations of you. In addition, people in OCE are prone to indecision which causes them to postpone rather than make a decision. And especially another reason might be because of thing you have to do is not you passionate about. It's really hard to decide it, to do it when you're so distracted by outside stimuli as well as internal thought. It can be hard to get started on test, especially if the test is difficult or not interesting to you. And the last point we talk about the negative impact of procrastination. Only when procrastination becomes chronic and has a significant influence on a person's everyday life does it become a more serious problem. It's not just a problem of bedtime management skill. In these cases, unfortunately, procrastination can have a negative impact on person mental health such as like as well as their social life professional and financial well-being stress and disease are at all time high procrastination is a link of a number of race and negative consequences including poor academy performance financial hardship interpersonal relationship problem the decreased happiness and poor mental and physical health. Furthermore, many of these problems are interconnected, mean, meaning that they frequently occur together that some of them can cause or exacerbate others. Procrastination, for example, leads to issues like decreased happiness, poor physical, physical health, and poor academic and career performance. Understanding the dangers of procrastination is important because it can help you recognize when and how procrastination is harming someone including yourself and because being aware of this difficulty can boost your and other people productivity. In addition to the main dangers outlined above, procrastination can also lead to various other types of issues. For example, procrastination can cause people to miss out on important opportunities as like the opportunity to apply for a prestigious scholarship or the opportunity to ask out a potential romantic partner. Similarly, procrastination can delay people's personal growth. For instance, when it causes them to postpone learning valuable skills that they're interested in such as like programming or something like that uh, or when it causes them to postpone developing helpful habits they invest in such as like reading, traveling, exercising or even connecting with other people. Finally, procrastination is associated with a wide range of other issues that can of course as a result of unsurely delay such as like in increased clutter and decreased regret. And ultimately, we talk about how to overcome the procrastination. Well, I have some tips to procrastination, just summarize, and I will talking more detail in the next video. And the tip number one is uh, to do list. Write, write down all the tasks that you want to accomplish every single day with a specific time. And the tip number two is start with a baby step. It means that you can break the big project to a small a small task that you can accomplish it. And another word is driving to eliminate all the distraction things as like social media turn off all notification or something like that. And moreover, I think a better way to overcome the procrastination by doing an exercise every day, 
or even trying to build a daily routine and avoid the perfectionism finally the video is like this i hope you guys enjoy the video and i will talking more detail about how to overcome the procrastination in the next video if you like the video please click the like button for youtube algorithm and i will see you at the next video